Intermediate Algebra for Statistics using the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations part 4 less objectives decide which method to use to solve a quadratic equation use the quadratic formula to make predictions with a quadratic model less objective deciding which method to use to solve a quadratic equation we have looked at three factoring and this is best to use factoring when the quadratic can easily put in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero and it can be easily factored so if you recall what two numbers multiply to give us the value of c and at the same time add up to give us the value of b the square root property is best to use when the equation can easily be put in the form x squared equals k or the quantity x plus p squared equals k and lastly the quadratic formula for all equations except those that can be easily solved by factoring or using the square root property example 11 Solve number 1, w squared minus 3w minus 54 equals 0. Number 2, x plus 3 quantity squared equals 5. And number 3, the product of x plus 3 and x minus 2 equals 2 times x plus 1. Number 1, for this example, it's probably best to factor this what two numbers multiply to give me a negative 54 and at the same time add up to give me a negative 3 because c is negative we know one of the factors will be positive the other factor will be negative so if we take 6 times negative 9 we get a negative 54 and 6 plus a negative 9 is a negative 3 now using the zero factor property we set this binomial equal to zero and we set this binomial equal to zero and we have the solutions w equals negative six and w equals nine number two it's best to use the square root property for this equation we take the square root of both sides and we get x plus three equals don't forget your plus or minus square root of five next we subtract 3 to both sides and we have x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 5. Number 3, our first step is to fold this out. We get x squared plus x minus 6. Next, using the distributive property here, we get 2x plus 2. Subtracting 2x to both sides and then subtracting 2, we have x squared minus x minus 8 equals 0. This does not factor, so we are forced to use the quadratic formula. a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is a negative 8. Plug in these values in the quadratic formula. We get x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 33 divided by 2. Less injective. Example 12. The annual consumption of bottled water in the United States have been increasing since 1990. So we have our table here, and as the years increase, the consumption has been increasing. Let F of T be the bottled water consumption in billions of gallons in the years that is T years since 1990. A possible equation of F is F of T equals 0 0.016 T squared plus 0.12t plus 2.18. Number one, verify that F models the data well. Number two, predict when the annual consumption will reach 11 billion gallons. Number one, using a graph and calculator to construct the scatter gram, or sometimes called a scatter plot, we see that the model is fitting the data well. So we can use this equation to make predictions. So we take our model, 
we set it equal to 11 because we are wanting to know when, what time, will it reach 11 billion. Since the units are billion, f of t will be 11. Next we need to put this in standard form, so we subtract 11 to both sides. Now this is in standard form. This is a, this is b, this is c. Using the quadratic formula, we have t equals negative 1.2 plus or minus the square root of 0.57888 divided by 0.032. The square root of 0.57888 becomes 0 0.7608. Approximating this, we have t is a negative 27.53 or t is approximately equal to 20.03 to two decimal places. Let's verify these solutions. We put the equation in y1 and using the table feature when x is a negative 27.53 we have something very close to 11 and when x is 20.03 again we have something very close to 11. So what does this mean in terms of the problem? Well, negative 27.53 corresponds to 1962 because T is the number of years since 1990 and 1990 minus 28 is 1962. 20.03 corresponds to 20 years beyond 1990, which is 2010. The estimate for 1962 is a result of model breakdown. We predict that it will be 2010 when the bottled water consumption reaches 11 billion gallons. Thanks for watching.